Who do you want to be and what do you want to do this year? I'm talking about annual planning and doesn't matter if it's New Year's or birthday, this is a really good time to slow down and think about where you want to expand in health, wealth, relationships, and expression. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a not overwhelming yet comprehensive way to plan out all these different areas in a mind map and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert this mind map into Notion so you can actually track your progress and know where you are at any given time. All right, guys, let's dig in. This is the full mind map, as well as this is the Notion board that we are going to be creating later. But first, before overwhelming you with this ginormous map of health, wealth, expression, and relationships, Let's go into the actual template. What we have here is what I call life expansion zones. These are the top four categories that matter to pretty much everybody. And from each one of these, we're going to have a focus area. Each of the focus areas expand into what I call expansion arcs. These are like life story arcs because we are living the narrative of our lives. And this is a way to gamify our annual planning. And here is why, why we want to do it, because I believe that if we don't know why we want to do something, it's not going to be very aligned to our ultimate dreams, where we want to go. So often we go into this mechanistic way of goal achievement that we forget truly why we start on this path in the first place. That's why it's number one here. And I always start with a statement of I want to, not I have to, not I need to, I want to, being pulled, not pushed. And finally, it can give yourself like an achievement perk name. So you're gonna see this in action. In a... And then progression milestones one, two, and three. So this is level one, level two, level three. And you can put the activity that's going to achieve these milestones. All right, now that we've got the template in, let's go into the actual example. First, we have health. For me, this overarching goal is to live to 100 years old with good health span. Why? Because I want to live many lives in one lifetime. In order to do so, I got to have energy, I have to feel strong, and I have to be free from illnesses. And then here, I give myself a little perk called Tuck Everlasting. So if any of you guys have seen this movie, you'll understand that reference. With health, I divide it into pillars and medical. Pillars is directly based off of Peter Atiyah's book called Outlive. It's an excellent book about health span and longevity. And these are the four major pillars he talks about in that order of exercise, nutrition, sleep, and mental. So we have exercise, number one, divided into cardio, mobility, and strength. Nutrition is divided into diet, what I eat, and timing, when I eat. Sleep is divided into more, basically number of hours that I would be sleeping, as well as better, the quality of sleep. Finally, we have mental health, which is emotional and cognitive. And here you're gonna see a few arrows coming in, which is relationships goes into emotion, expression and wealth both go into cognitive. And we're gonna cover that in a bit. You'll notice these mind mapping concepts already come to use of deconstruction. A mind map is able to break out the complexities of any of these components, even under health. Health is like a big, big component of anybody's life. In order to take action on it, we have to break it down into smaller chunks. That's exactly what we are doing right here. Under exercise, again, from cardio, I've got triathlon. And under triathlon, I have why, I've got swimming, cycling, and running. And I'm using symbols here where you'll notice that every time I have this little pencil icon here, that means this is a narrative. This is a life arc or expansion arc that I want to take on. In gamification terms, this is a quest. Why do I want to do a triathlon? I want to explore more of the world in my own body like nature intended to. I think we're all dying a slow death by just sitting in our chairs all the time. I want to just get to places, explore the world on my two damn feet. And then the perk that I gave myself is human machine. 
Project, which then will unlock other perks, which is Amphibious Explorer. I've always had this dream of running to the beach, taking a swim, and then running back. I think that would be just really cool to explore nature in. So it's really cool to start dreaming into other goals after you have accomplished this particular one. This concept of going through goals where every step that we take leads to the next. And it, it's this wonderful journey of expanding ourselves to our full, full potential. Cycling, same thing. Why we got you know, different perks, 80 miles, 50 miles, 20 miles per week, buy a bike and make a commuter ready. And then these are even the con components of what kind of gear that I need to attach to my bike. I can go to that amount of detail. And then the action is I will cycle if the commute is only under 20 miles running marathon which i have just signed up for and i'm honestly a little bit scared because it's in less than two months which is not a lot of time for a marathon so why i want to do it i want to feel alive and recover from depression through cardio if you guys have read my Substack article on this signing up to a marathon is probably the most important and best thing i could have done for myself for someone going through depression you're just really low energy you just want to go into yourself and having some structure and getting some sunshine that air is so so important and i'm really inspired by the rara Mui people who run everywhere in the mountains of mexico because of that i named this perk after them and then the subsequent goals are then 50 miles per week 40 miles per week which is the standard typically for marathon training, and then 30 miles per week. And then finally, run if my commute is under 10 miles. The way that I'm designing my training for marathoning is not dedicated running, but like putting on my backpack and then running to the cafes or meeting friends. Surprisingly, I'm able to clock 30 to 40 miles just from that, which is incredible. All of this goes into preparing for a triathlon. So already you can see a few patterns, which is first of all, Right here, this is the overall subcategories of what you want to do for good health span, cardio. And then you're breaking it down into subcomponents. The further away you break down from the original map, the more actionable it is immediately. This is how we get to a marathon from just like getting your shoes or something. So for example, say buy running shoes as a marker, as a goal. So we just put that right there. Boom, right there. Speaking of marathon training, <laughs> we're, that's what exactly what we're doing now. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a like or better yet, a subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it reaches a lot more people. So anyways, back to it. I'm gonna expand these out just really quickly to give you a sense of like around wealth, what my wealth goals are for this year. Be financially free by age 40. I wanna expand in the directions that I want without the concern of money. So it's important to not necessarily retire, but financially free that I'm not dependent on the system. Then you can also attach a vision to your goal. My vision is all my basic living expenses are covered by passive income within one year, basically this year. In two years, I'm gonna own two houses and in three years have achieved a net worth of $3 million. How am I gonna do that? Because anybody can have these dreams, but we actually have to break it down into concrete steps. Income streams are gonna be real estate and stocks. Okay, these are the major ones. So I have why, I wanna cover basic expenses with steady income. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Unlocks, landlord, steps. So this year I'm going to sell my current house in California, and then I am going to buy a house. And these are the different steps to get there. In order to sell a house, I've got to first hire a realtor to help me. I got to notify my tenants. I got to go through the sale process. And then finally I'm going to get the money. And then I'm going to use those funds to buy a house. Once I get that money, I'm going to tour different houses, open houses, make an offer, do the due diligence, submit the payment, get the keys, and then rent a house. So what does that look like? So I've got to fix and prep it probably. I'm going to rent it out and hopefully achieve three and a half thousand dollars in post-tax monthly recurring revenue or MRR. And then I got stocks here. The ROI levels I'm looking for is this. 10% returns with 80% cash holdings, 20% ROI with 65% cash or 35% invested, 30% ROI with 50% in the market. This is my overall goal. Housekeeping, 
move business uh, banking to Texas, make sure consulting payments are counted as Texas revenue and do my taxes. All of this in C is mirroring my health components in the way that I'm breaking things down as well as really just recording all the universe of things I have to do not just the things I want to, like I want to get the basics out of the way so I can actually do the focus on the fun stuff. As you can see here, after I broke it down, I realized that wealth contributes to emotional well-being because what emotional well-being goes into is actually stress and relationships. So to the extent that I'm able to be financially free and more or less dependent on passive income, the less stress I will have. Cognitive wise, I have purpose and learning, which is really around expression. Expression, I've got a bunch of stuff here. Be an artist of life <laughs> by expanding my interest and sharing my experiences like on this YouTube video. Why that is, this is, I wanna feel life. I want to feel every single thing. All of my aspirations I just poured into my journal. Take a look at my Substack. This article is my call to life that got me out of depression and set me back on the road to life. Another one is storytelling. I think storytelling is extremely important. I think there's so many beautiful moments in life that it would be a shame not to be able to share in the most compelling way. We got approach. This is actually very systematic. This is which books I want to read, who to call on in order to get the best results. Now, how do we turn all of this into something that can be linear and be tracked so we can track our progress and take action on it step by step? Well, let's go to Notion. And you'll notice here, I've got a Notion, what's known as a Notion Kanban board. It's got different stages. For me, I have wait list, I got short list, in progress, and done and hold. Wait list is stuff that is in the next three months or so. Short list is right up between next week to the next month. That's already in my radar. And then finally, in progress is what I'm currently working on and then done is done. I'm gonna include this as a template for you. Don't you worry, just like the mind map, I'm gonna include all of this in the description below. The benefit of a Kanban board is that you're able to create these customized cards and then see at a glance, at a high level, which ones you're gonna be working on. And you'll see here, each of these cards is directly one-to-one -one mapped to the map. No pun intended right here. So under running, I have marathon. Why? Rare movie spirit, these, that's perk, as well as different milestones. Right here, what I have then is finish a marathon. I have my why, I got my start date, I have my commitment, this is a major one. The two to four month commitment status in progress. The category is under health. And you can see here, I have health, wealth, expression, and relationships directly mapped, just like my mind map. The perk gain is rare movie spirit. You don't see here, I have my progression it is 50 miles a week, 40 miles a week, or 30 and 20 miles. Again, directly correlated to here. This is really cool because you can assign different levels. I know I'm right now working towards level 40. I'll give you one final example of, let's say, an expression or even work-related type of project. So become a storyteller. As I mentioned earlier, I want to become a storyteller because helpful for YouTube, Substack, and everything else. And then here I've got start date. I haven't started yet, but I can easily just drag this over to this side. So let's say I'm going to start now in progress, and then we're gonna put January 1st, right? New Year's, we're gonna start that. It's under expression, the commitment is one month. The perk gain is a storyteller, as you can see. I'm gonna go back over here, okay? Storyteller, right over here. And in fact, I can just show this brand showing, boom. So now it's a little bit easier to see just this particular branch. Progression, this is where I actually work with ChatGPT on a program. By the way, the Ewing School is an amazing communications consultancy and my buddy Bob actually recorded me a five minute masterclass on how to become a better storyteller because that is their bread and butter. And then, so what I did was I basically took the transcript of this, put it into ChatGPT. So ChatGPT, expansion arc, and all I did was I'm giving you my current expansion project. I just copy and pasted my why into with ChatGPT. I also shared the transcript from Bob so that it's got that context. And then I said, hey, help me get a form a four week program because this is gonna be a four week commitment. So this is what I came up with, with the three books that I selected from Bob's recommendations. So the science of storytelling, made the stick and storytellers secret. Chat basically gave me a recommendation on the order in which to read as well as the homework that I should do per week. 
And then I copy and pasted all of this into these cards. Let's say week one, perception shift. I am gonna be reading the science of storytelling as well as my daily homework is capture three moments per day. We write one moment as a scene and to build this muscle of story vision. And then at the end of week one, I should be able to describe yesterday what happened in three scenes instead of one summary. So this is extremely, extremely powerful because now I've just created my own program that I can track. And then if I'm able to go through all of this, I'm gonna become a much better storyteller within one month. This is what I mean by deconstructing what you wanna do into these actionable steps that you can track using the mind map as the deconstruction visualization and then Notion as the tracker. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please, please let me know in the comments or subscribe to my Substack to see the life experiences that shape my videos. All of these templates are going to be in the description below. Until next time, happy planning. Whew. All right, we just got back. Wow. How many miles? Let's see, 7.3, which is pretty good. Combining with the six miles I just ran this morning at the cafe, that is uh, 13 miles, half marathon. We're good. <laughs>